If you use a learning management system with your students, maybe Google Classroom or Canvas, you may want, from time to time, to assign interactive activities or educational games for your students to play. These can be fun, engaging activities to help your students practice the material that they need to learn. In this video, we will look at how to access several different types of educational games and other activities, and how to share them with your students or assign them as homework. First, let's consider some of the games and activities that are available. One good source of educational games and activities is UEN's K-12 Interactives. If you go to UEN.org and do a search for K-12 Interactives, you'll be taken to a list of results and the top result is basically a directory of some educational games and interactive activities for students to play. You can click on the appropriate grade level and then choose the subject that you would like to find a game for. Let's say science and that takes you to a list of games. Now it's important to note that some of these games require Flash to play. If you select one of those games it will be difficult for your students to actually play the game, especially in the Google Chrome browser. Notice it's saying it requires Adobe Flash. The way around this error message is to go up here and click on Not Secure, Site Settings, and in the settings, Enabling Flash for this web page. Now that it's enabled, I can close that tab, and now the activity is allowed to play. I could make the activity bigger by holding Control on a Windows computer or Command on a Mac and tapping plus. So this is a great activity, but that is a downside that because it is a flash-based activity, it will be difficult for many students to access that. But there are also many, many activities that don't require flash like this one. And there are many that are HTML5 compliant. In other words, they've been updated to be used on the most modern devices. Here's an example of an HTML5 activity. When I click on it, it takes me to this page, and then I can click play to begin the activity. In addition to the UEN K-12 interactives, there are many other excellent educational games and activities available for free on the internet. Let's look at just a few of the options that are available. This is a website called abcia.com, and from the homepage, we can click on a grade level and choose from a variety of engaging activities and games to help our students learn various subjects. The games are categorized by subject, so if I want my students to practice their numbers, I could go down and choose, let's say, this game, How Many Marbles. Once it's loaded, I can click Play and Start to begin the game. In this case, trying to guess how many marbles are in the jar. Most of the games on ABCA do not require flash and will work smoothly and easily for your students. Later, Gator. Quizlet is another source of educational games and other activities. Here on Quizlet, I can search for a subject I'd like my students to learn, and I can browse down and select a flashcard deck to use with my students. These are clickable flashcards, so students can see both sides of the flashcard, and then you can click Next to get to the next species in this case. In addition to flashcards, these terms can be played as games. There's a match game, and a gravity game. Another great option for educational games and activities is EduCandy. EduCandy does require teachers to get a free login and password for the site, but once you've done that, your students can play a variety of games to help them learn the material they need to learn. And you can customize these activities and games exactly to your curriculum. There are two main methods that you can use to share these activities and games with your students. Let's first look at linking. Let's say I want to share this States of Matter interactive with my students. I could simply link to this interactive by clicking the play button and then clicking once 
on the URL or address of the activity. It highlights the entire address and I can copy it and then go into, let's say, Google Classroom. And I could share this with my students by pasting the link into the stream and then clicking post. Now my students can click the link to play the activity. I could also assign it as classwork if I'd like by clicking create, assignment, titling the assignment and typing up some instructions and then including the URL in the assignment instructions. Now I might want to include instructions such as describe how you did with this activity or please upload a screenshot of the activity results, whatever you want to do to kind of prove that they did participate in the activity if you feel like you'd like to do that. At this point, I can adjust the assignment settings and then click Assign. The process would be very similar with games from ABCA. Let's say this game here, I select it, I copy the link, and I can paste it in to either the stream or the classwork in Google Classroom. You could do the same thing also with Quizlet. With EduCandy, it's a little different. You would need to go to the list of your activities that you've created, click Share, and then copy the URL for the activity and then paste it in. Let's look now at Canvas and the process for sharing within Canvas. Here in my Canvas modules, I could easily create a new page, click New Page, give it a name, and then add this as a page in the module. If you want to consider the activity an assignment, you may change it from page to assignment. Either way, the process for sharing the activity will be almost identical. Now I can go into the practice game page that I've created, edit it, and then click to then paste in the link to my EduCandy activity or Quizlet, ABCA, or one of the UEN K-12 interactives. It is important that after you paste in the URL that you tap enter or return on the keyboard. That will turn the URL into a clickable hyperlink. Now I can click save or better yet, save and publish. And now my students will be able to see this link to the game. The second method for sharing interactive games and activities with your students is by using an embed code. And not all games or activities have embed codes, but some do. By clicking the back arrow with this States of Matter activity, it took me back to this page where I can see an embed button. If I click that, it gives me an embed code that I can copy. Unfortunately, embed codes don't work in Google Classroom. However, in Canvas, they do. Here on my Canvas page, I'm going to click Edit. And then instead of pasting the embed code here, I need to first click HTML Editor to show the HTML code for this page and I'll tap return or enter on the keyboard and then paste in the embed code that I got from the interactive or game. Next, I'll click save and my interactive activity is embedded onto my Canvas page and students can play it right from within Canvas. So in this video, we looked at four different sources for educational games or activities to help your students practice. And we looked at a couple of different ways that you can try sharing those games or activities with your students.